Hello everyone and welcome back to a new video. Today I'm going to be showing you how to stream with the slowest internet ever. I mean take a look at my upload speed. It's below 1 megabit per second which is considered very very low for streaming. So if you have an upload speed similar to mine or better, you can stream without any lag. And let me tell you, I have spent the whole day trying out these new settings, testing their limits. And let me tell you, you will not face a single stutter, freeze or lag in your stream. Even with a speed like mine, below 1 megabit per second. So I highly urge you to watch this video till the end and apply the settings as I do. If you have any questions, leave them in the comment section down below. And before we start today's video, why not hit that like button so you can help this video reach as many people as possible. With that being said, let's get right into the tutorial. Alrighty, so the first thing that I have to do is basically head to speedtest.net so you can check your internet speed. So basically, if you do not know this website, it's a website that basically calculates how fast your internet is. So basically, I'm just gonna go, as you can see, and press go, and it'll start actually calculating how fast is my internet. It'll tell me my ping, which is which is 25, as you can see, to my local server. It's now calculating my download speed, which is not really relevant if you want to live stream, because live streaming is actually only related to the upload speed. You do not need that good of a download speed for streaming. So if you have a good enough upload speed, you are pretty much good to go. As you can see, now my upload speed is... 0.71 which is below 1 megabit and twitch has recommended an upload speed of at least 1 megabit a second but as you can see my upload speed is below 1 megabit a second and using my settings that i have actually found in obs that i'm gonna be sharing with you today i actually managed to stream with this upload speed without any lag whatsoever granted with this upload speed the quality is gonna be suffering a lot but the stream is going to be watchable and you're actually going to be able to stream a gameplay maybe or something like that and it's going to be watchable it's not going to be laggy and basically it's going to be ideal enough with the intro let's get right into the tutorial okay so if you do not have obs studio head to this link you'll find it in the description down below and go ahead and download obs after downloading obs obviously all you have to do is open obs and this window should actually pop up yours might be white mine is gray as you can see i actually changed that myself i will show you how to do that but first you will need a scene so if you do not have a scene over here all you have to do is press this add button right here which is this plus button and basically name your scene whatever and then press ok as you can see mine is scene too Okay, so I'm going to be selecting scene 1 because I'd like scene 1. And then move to sources, okay? So in sources, press this add button again. And then you can go ahead and select what type of capture do you want. I want to stream my display. So obviously I'm going to be selecting display capture. And then I'm going to be naming it monitor, basically 1. So mon1. And then as you can see, this window should pop up. And it'll basically be capturing my first monitor. And as you can see, all I have to do is press OK and boom, that's my monitor over there. So basically, some of you guys have been complaining in the comments that they had black screens. So if you do it this way, you'll not face any problems with a black screen. All you have to do now is go ahead and head to settings. Now in general, you're not going to be changing that much. If you want to basically change the theme, it's your personal preference. So I'm going to be selecting the dark one. You can select the theme that you like. It's your personal preference. Um, move on from the general tab and go ahead and move to stream. Okay, so in this tab right here, if you're going to be streaming to Twitch, Basically select Twitch, you're going to be streaming to YouTube, select YouTube, Mixer, Facebook, you know, select whatever service you are using. In this server area, basically head to Google, okay, and Google your country. So I live in Tunisia, so I'm going to be selecting Tunisia, as you could see, and I'm going to be opening the maps. Alright, so basically select the closest server where you live so basically for me it's marseille in france okay so it's the closest server ever i mean i live in tunisia as you could see and marseille is in this area as you could see it's, it's even closer to me than milan so i'm going to be selecting the server which is located in marseille all right after that go ahead and put your stream key in here if you do not know how to do that basically press this link and you'll find your stream key over there and then basically just paste copy and paste it in this field over here be careful not to share your stream key with anyone because they're, they're going to be able to stream to your channel without you even knowing after getting this sorted go ahead and move to the output tab okay so in this tab go ahead and make sure the output mode goes in advance go ahead and make sure you are in the streaming tab 
make sure the audio track is one. After that, go to the encoder. What I would suggest for everyone to do is basically select this option right here, X264. It's going to be reducing the lag if you have like a slow graphics card or whatnot. My graphics card is a GTX 1050 Ti. It can definitely handle this encoder, but I'm not going to risk it, so I'm going to be sticking with this option right here. And then make sure you to check this enforced streaming service encoder settings. So make sure this is checked. The rescale output, make sure you uncheck that part. And now for the rate control. Okay, so this rate control thingy, go ahead and make sure it says CBR. So it's basically controlled bitrate or current bitrate. I'm not really sure, but basically it allows you to specify how much bitrate you put into the stream. So, okay, so here for the bitrate part where most of you guys have been confused and you guys have been commenting what is my bitrate cannot calculate it so listen closely and this is how you're going to be able to actually calculate your own bitrate so i have told you to go to speedtest.net and test your internet after that go ahead and copy your upload speed so if it's 0.71 like i am i'm going to be heading and copying that i'm going to be opening my calculator and then i'm going to be pasting my upload speed over here after that, I'm going to be multiplying that by 1000, okay, 1000, and as you can see, it's 710, again, take your upload speed, multiply it by 1000, and the result is your bitrate, so 7, 710 is my bitrate, basically, so I can go up to 710, after that, I'm not going to be selecting use custom buffer size, so uncheck this if you have it checked, the keyframe interval I have found that 5 works for me, you can keep it at auto, it doesn't really make that much of a difference. Now move to the CPU usage, I would suggest that I keep it on very fast because if you mess up with the settings, you can actually make your computer lag and the lag will come actually from your computer because your CPU will be suffering. You can play around with these settings but I would definitely suggest that you do not go above fast, so do not go medium or slow or slower or very slow or placebo. So go ahead, stick from anywhere from ultra fast to fast. So don't go anywhere above that. So go ahead and stick with, I'm going to be sticking with very fast because it works for me. So yeah, I'm going to be sticking with very fast. As for the profile, go ahead and make sure it says main. As for the tune, I'm going to be going with fast decode. Alrighty, so right now go ahead and press apply. Go ahead and go to the audio tab. Make sure the audio bitrate is 160 because you do not want the audio to cause you lag. And as you can see, make sure you do that in the track number one. After that, press apply. I already have it applied, so I'm not going to be doing that. And then go ahead and move to the audio tab. Okay, so in the audio tab, all you have to do is make sure you select the sample rate that is convenient for your computer basically so how do you do that you might be asking already so how do you select the sample rate how do you choose so most people go with 44.1 kilohertz but i'm going to be showing you how to be actually specific so all you have to do is basically go to this little speaker icon right over here right click it and go to sound after that go to recordings and then go to your microphone my microphone is the samsung q to you i'm going to be selecting that what I have to do is go with properties and then go to advanced and as you could see it's 2 channel 16 bits and, and as you could see it's 44,100 hertz which is basically 44.1 kilohertz so yeah as you could see it's selected at that so I'm going to be cancelling cancelling I'm going to be selecting the same numbers that I find in there so mine is 44.1 kilohertz as for the channels make sure it says stereo and for the desktop audio device okay so now go ahead and select your main audio device mine is the nokia original headphones which are plugged into my microphone so I'm, I'm currently using those as my main source of audio so obs will be streaming whatever audio comes out of those babies and then go to the mic auxiliary audio device which is basically your microphone and go ahead and make sure you select your own default microphone so mine is the samsung here to you i'm going to be selecting that after that i'm done with this tab all you have to do is press apply and then go ahead and move to the video tab which is one of the most important bits of this video so now listen carefully so the base canvas resolution should be whatever your monitor's resolution is so if you have a 720p monitor make sure it says 720p in here my monitor's resolution is 1440 by 900 which is my native monitor resolution so 
If I'm gonna be streaming my second monitor which is 1080p so I'm gonna be selecting 1080p in here I'm gonna be typing it in and then I'm gonna be leaving it like that 1080p so the base canvas resolution is basically your monitor's resolution your monitor's native resolution sorry so for now for the output and scaled resolution how do you choose this so basically this is the resolution you're going to be streaming in so basically when people are watching your stream this is the resolution they're going to be watching it in so how do you go about choosing this resolution it's fairly simple all you have to do is head to stream.twitch.tv slash encoding and then slash so in this website right here which you'll find in the description down below all you have to do over here is basically find your bitrate as you can see there is something called bitrate over here and there's numbers in front of it in kilobytes per second in kilobits per second sorry so go ahead and try to find your actual bitrate if your upload speed is basically below one megabit a second you're most likely going to be finding it over here so the bitrate over here goes from 400 kilobits to 1200 and as you know my bitrate is actually 710 so it's definitely between these two values so i'm going to be going with one of these resolutions i've actually tried them all out and the best resolution that gave me no stutter whatsoever and no lag whatsoever was the 24p so yeah go ahead and try 480p then go ahead and try 360p and if those two don't work go ahead and select 240p alrighty so depending on this page i'm gonna be going with 240p because i actually tried that so if you have an upload speed like mine or worse stick with 240p i know it's a very very small resolution but it works so go ahead and copy my resolution which is right over here 426 by 240p if you have a bitrate of 1500 you can go ahead and select 480p at 60 fps if you have 2.5 megabits you can go ahead and select 720p at 30 fps so yeah you can go ahead and choose whatever resolution is convenient for your internet speed as i did now the downscale filter go ahead and make sure it says bilinear as for the fps values go ahead and make sure it says common fps values and type over here 30 so you're going to be streaming at 240p 30 fps as for the hotkeys i'm not actually using any and for the actual advanced settings go ahead and make sure the processor priority is set to above normal the color format i'm going to be selecting nv12 the uv color space 709 and the uv color range is at full because i like these settings after that go ahead and press apply and then ok and as you can see these are the stream settings that you want one more thing go ahead for the duration for some reason this works for me and type in 10,000 milliseconds for me this worked added an additional delay and now all you have to do is obviously go ahead and start streaming as your stream will not actually lag anyways guys this wrap it up for today's video if this video helped you in any way possible then be sure to leave a like rating on today's video so you can help this video reach as many people as possible and help as many people as possible i'm going to be really active on twitter in the next few days so if you have any questions it is the best time to ask me on twitter so go ahead and follow me on twitter at the gaming foxy underscore or basically click the card on the top right corner or basically head to the description you'll find my where you'll find the link to my to my twitter account hit that subscribe button as i'm on my way to 2000 subscribers and all help is absolutely appreciated and with that being said i will see you guys in the next video bye bye <laughs>